Hey, you guys, it's Caitlin Hoffman here. Um, so if you're watching this video, it means that at this point in your business, you've made some posts, you've done some stories, maybe a couple polls, you've messaged a few people, you've maybe been in the team pages here and there, um, you've watched an initial training video, but now it's time to turn on the gas. Now it's time to figure out like a daily to-do list something to really just make concrete, help you become self-sufficient and not as reliant on other people. Um, and we're just gonna crank the heat up, okay? So it is possible to make $500, $1,000, $5,000, $30,000 a month, per month for many months in a row, years even, in this business. There is no income cap, okay? There is nothing that says you cannot make that kind of money. We all join for like that small amount because we just don't really know what's possible or how things work. Um, it's okay to not know exactly like the specifics of our compensation plan. I did it when I started. I'm just going to tell you what you do need to pay attention to when you start um, so you can be successful in this business and start making the money. So like I said, any amount is possible in this business. You get to decide how fast it happens. Okay. I've seen people take a year to make $500 a month because they were doing like, weren't, weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. Um, they weren't reaching out and asking for help. You don't have to hold a gun to my head for me to want to support my family or for me to want to make more money because at the end of the day, everything costs money and I have to feed my family. I got to pay my bills. I have to like live in this house. Um, and, but I want to do it without killing myself. And that's what this business allows me to do. And a lot of people have joined this business because they have another job and that job is killing them or they can't even, they can't work more than what they're already working because their boss says that they can't work anymore. So their income is capped. And a lot of you, maybe you like what you do for a living, but you want to take it to the next level. Like you need more income and you don't want to take any more time away from your family or your current job or maybe you literally just don't have any time to get another job because your current job you already work like 60 hours a week this is the way you can make an extra income you can supplement your income with this business and like i said any amount is possible you have the same tools the same trainings that somebody who's making thirty thousand dollars a month has okay the same products the same business kit the same ceo the same deals going on um, but you get to decide how fast it happens. Okay. And that's just going to be, you know, go, we're going to go over like our charts and, and like the guidelines on how to go Ruby. Okay. Um, and that's going to be like our first point, like our first goal Ruby for me was the rank that just kind of opened my eyes and everything seemed possible with Ruby. Um, so I want to just talk about what Ruby is. So you guys can have an idea of why it's important. Um, and I thought I had an old statistics that sheet. <sighs> Anyways, let me look something real quick. You don't, so when I started, you guys, I thought I needed like a super fancy, like big binder to like keep all my work stuff in. I still have it and I use it every once in a while, but like my job is to make your lives easier, not more complicated and crazy. Um, I'm very OCD. I want to have everything in order, everything I need to refer to and organize. So, okay. So what does Ruby mean? Ruby is the second rank of the company. It actually, go oh, and another thing, you guys take notes right now, pause the video, Get out a piece of uh, paper and a pen, pencil, I don't care what it is, because after you watch this video, you're going to send me a picture of your notes or whoever sent you this video. If it's your upline, your enroller, if they sent you this video, you need to send them a picture of your notes that you took to show us that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Because um, at the end of the day, like I can give you all the ingredients to make a cake, but if you don't follow my instructions and actually put the ingredients in the cake or like in the mixer, to make and in the oven you're not going to make any cake right so we want to ensure that you're making your cake and that you're doing the things you need to be doing and i'm telling you right now you need to take notes on this video and you're going to send a screenshot of your notes to um the person who sent you this video okay um so we have here are your different ranks okay write it down executive 
ruby, emerald, diamond, and diamond is the leadership rank, okay? That's your $2,000 a month. Double diamond, triple diamond. Now, triple diamond is considered VIP in the company, okay? There's another Facebook page. Um, you're on top leadership trainings with Mark himself. Um, and then presidential diamond, which is VIP elite. And then ambassador diamond, which is the top of the company, and they make an average of $30,000 a month. Okay. So Ruby is the second rank. And why does everybody shoot for Ruby? Well, Ruby is that $500. Um, and it, it's honestly one more person than executive is. And so we just want to shoot right to Ruby. Okay. When I joined this business, I didn't have any kind of history or training in social media or sales. I had never tried the products, um, never heard of the company, didn't think you can make crazy amounts of money, but I believed that $500 was possible because we had a $500 bonus at the time if you did it in your first two full calendar months. I joined October 2nd of 2015, and because it was the 2nd of October, I actually that wasn't a full month. So I had all of October, all of November and all of December to go Ruby. And back then Ruby, you needed five teammates, but we changed it um, at conference this year, February, 2019 to you only need three people. So it's actually easier to go Ruby now than it is when I started, but you guys, I started, I did the things that my leader told me to do. Um, and I'm going to go over those things with you. And I just like, did the dang thing. I kept my head down. I made sure I was doing the things I needed to do. And I made money. You guys, I did it in my first three months. So it is easier now to go Ruby. And because I didn't really have much help when I started, you guys have way more help and way more resources available than I did when I started. And I, I just figured it out. So I'm not expecting you to figure it out. I'm not expecting you <clears throat> to be on your own, but I am expecting you to hold yourself accountable to stay disciplined um, to take what I'm giving you and just understand I'm literally giving you the keys to how to make multiple thousand dollars a month from your phone and you get to decide if you're going to make the cake or not. Okay. Like who wants to make the cake? I want to make 10 cakes. Okay. So Ruby is $500 a month on average right now. If you're watching this video, it's October, 2019. We don't have a bonus for going Ruby. We did when I started, but bonuses are always changing. Um, but we don't join for a bonus. I didn't join for a shopping spree. I didn't join for a bonus. I joined for a monthly residual income that was going to help my family. Okay. So maybe you've missed your shopping spree. Maybe you still have an opportunity to get your shopping spree. I did earn my shopping spree. Um, and it took me two weeks. You guys, I was like, like my gas was turned on all the way from day one and I, I just did the damn thing. Um, I also didn't have the money to spend on products. And I was one of those people who, you know, if I'm going to be selling this to my family, I, I need to have like my own personal experience with the products, but I couldn't afford them. So the company had an opportunity for me to earn a shopping spree so I could try those products. So I like busted my butt to earn that shopping spree. So I didn't have to spend money on products. Um, cause I couldn't afford it. Right. So that was what pushed me even more. So your shopping spree, if you're in your first 30 days and you don't already know what you should, but if you don't, that's okay. Um, you need your first four loyal customers in your first 30 days. So it's just somebody who signs up with one of our products, one or more of our products for a minimum of three months. They can change the products each month. There's no like money minimum um, that it has to be. It's just at least one product a month for three months. They can change it each month. They get a 40% discount. They earn 10% back in product credit with each order. And they are available for all the deals that we have going on right now. We have a, a BOGO going on one of our products. Loyal customers get to just log into their account and place a personal order for it. And it's amazing. So four of those people in your first 30 days and you unlock a $100 shopping spree. Now, if you're watching this later, hopefully I have a new video in time for that. Um, but that could change, but you know, check with your enroller to see if that's still going on. If you're not sure, and we will keep you up to date with that. Um, so Ruby is $500 a month. This is totally doable. I did it in three months, like basically ignorance on fire, very blind. And it was harder back then because you needed five people and here you only need three. So I'm going to explain this chart to you. You can either print this chart off 
or you can draw it out if you don't have access to a printer. Okay, these are in our team pages. Your leader should have one. We can send it to you, print it off. Um, I actually laminated one of each chart and I have a dry erase marker where I can like write on here to show you examples. Um, so this is nice when it comes to explaining things to people. So when you look at a Ruby chart, okay, this is you as a distributor in the middle, okay? Your name goes here. And your goal, first and foremost every month, is to make sure you are commission qualified. So step one, are you commission qualified? Okay, you can either run an 80 BB auto shipment of personal orders for yourself, okay? You're spending money roughly 80 BV, which is very equal, it's very close to a dollar amount, um, minus tax and shipping, for personal order, which is great because you're guaranteed a paycheck um, if you have something to be paid off of and you have a chance to use the products or sell the products and make your money back and it pays for its auto shipment. If you don't wanna spend the money or can't spend the money, that's totally understandable. Our company is amazing. You can just get 150 BV in sales and be commission qualified. So your first month, you're automatically commission qualified, but if you join on like the last day of the month this month, then that's considered your first month. Next, then the next day is a new month and like you have to get commission qualified. So it's really nice when you join the very beginning of a month, especially the second like I did, because you have all of the first month to get paid on whatever it is that you get. If I would have gotten 149 my first month, I still would have gotten paid on it. But the next month, if I got 149 I wouldn't get paid, okay? So um, you can get 150 BV in orders. And what's nice is while you're working on those four customers for your shopping spree, you have to hit 150. So our customers stay for a minimum of three months. So your next three months, you should be getting paid. Now you have to keep an eye on if their credit card declines, somebody changes their order and it drops their BV amount, whatever, that's part of your responsibility. Like step number one is to get paid. That is why you join this business, okay? So you wanna get commission qualified. I don't care if it's with an auto shipment, I don't care if it's with 150 and customers, okay? So commission qualified, step one, figure out how you're gonna do that. Um, for me, I run an auto shipment, so I always write like auto shipment um, or a check mark and write that like maybe my actual auto shipment is 90. I know that I'm good, step one is good, it's done, it's Gucci, we can move on. Okay, and maybe maybe you're doing it with like customers and you have 250 in um, BV, okay? Personal BV, which means like they're directly under you. You're good, you only needed at least 150. You can check mark your box. That's one piece of the puzzle. Next, these boxes right here. I did it so the door doesn't shut because the window's open. Um, each box represents a teammate, a distributor on your team, somebody that you signed or somebody that your upline signed and moved underneath you, which is a thing. It's really cool. Um, but we only move with people who are actually doing the things that they need to be doing because we don't get those people back, right? So um, to go Ruby, you need at least three teammates. So when you sign somebody up, their name is going to go here, here, and here. Okay, so if I sign a girl, her name is Sarah. Um, it's amazing, I have her name right there. Then maybe um, Katie signs up, and then maybe Sydney, okay? So now, now I have three, I am called what's called boxed for Ruby, okay? So I'm gonna write step two, three DTs, okay? Three DTs, three distributors, one, two, three. Um, what I like to do when I am trying to figure this out is I will just write numbers in the boxes and then as they get figured out, like, okay, I signed um, Sydney, I'll erase the three and write her name there. And then now I know I'm looking at my chart. Okay, I'm still commission qualified. What's my next step? Okay, I need to get these boxes filled. So I need two more distributors. I signed somebody. Okay, here's Katie. She's in. I signed her. Good. Okay, I only need one distributor now. All right, and her name is Sarah. I signed her. We're good. So step one is done. Step two is done. I am now what's called boxed for Ruby, which means I have the people available, now we need to get the volume, okay? So step three is fill <clears throat> boxes. And that just means you're gonna fill it with um, volume. So you are already commission qualified, which is part of your volume, okay? This is gonna go with the minimum and we're gonna talk about that in a second. And I have a, a longer like actual like work through video on how to go Ruby specifically with the math and calculations and numbers. It's really not complicated. 
but um, doing the examples along with the video will help you in the other video, okay? So a qualified leg right here, I just kind of covered it up, but qualified leg means 400 club, okay? So I'm gonna do QL, qualified leg, is equal to 400 club, okay? And 400 club just means 400 in group volume, okay? GV, group volume. Now we said this was like personal bonus volume. This is group volume. So group volume is your volume plus anybody on your team's volume. So as a team, we could do like 40,000 GV in sales, which is roughly $40,000. My GV is our entire team's sales. If you don't have anybody underneath you yet, then it's no, just your sales, okay? I'm dead. Okay. I'm not sick. You're not sick, good. So if, if you just sign these three girls, okay, and you have 250, your commission qualified, um, Right now my group volume is 250 as well because nobody else had volume, but say Sydney signs some customers, she gets her shopping spree, okay? So her personal volume, she hit 150 exactly, it was amazing. But my group volume now, okay, my minimum group volume, it says group volume, your group volume now is 250 plus 150, okay? So you are now at 400, GV, hey, which means you are actually okay. Um, so you are actually now considered a qualified leg, which is like really cool for your upline. Um, but qualified leg is written under each individual person here. So you need Sydney to be a qualified leg herself. You need Katie to be a qualified leg. You need Sarah to be a qualified leg. Okay, that's step three of the puzzle. So Sydney right now only has 150. Say Katie has 350 and Sarah has 450. So say it's towards the end of the month and these girls are rocking it, they're signing customers and um, your commission qualified, you're good. You know you got your three distributors. Sarah is at least 400, she's at 450. We can check her box off, boom, good. Okay, Katie is at 350, she is 50 away. I like to write off to the left the minus sign like how much they, they need okay thank you and then Sydney here she's still sitting at 150 so she actually needs 250 more so I know to complete step three now I need 250 in volume here and 50 BV in volume here so Katie could get a wrap order which is 54 and knock herself out and we're over 400 great so that's another check mark box but say you sign a customer and it's like a hundred BV worth you look at your chart, you know, Sarah's good, you know, Katie's good. You can move that 100 customer to Sydney and knock this down to now 150 is needed. She's at 250 and you're even closer to your promotion. So like you can kind of control your promotion and have a say in what's going to happen. It's not left up into the hands of other people. Um, I see how old you are. It's my temperature. So, oh, good, I'm good. Um, so when I actually went Ruby, I signed the majority of the, the volume myself. I gave people paychecks. I didn't worry about it. Um, each month our goal is to try to bring new people in anyway. So if there are some people who aren't working or aren't taking off, we just replace them. I am here to help people make money. And if you're not wanting to make money for yourself, I will go find somebody else who wants to make money. Um, that's just part of the deal. But when it comes to game plan and placing and stuff, get with your enroller or your leader. Um, one of your diamond leaders. Right now we have Heather, Allie, and myself um, who kind of know what's going on in like the best case scenario for placing. What? I want some milk. Can you give me just a couple more minutes, okay? And then we will do it. High five. You can have water. Yeah. So step away. Um, so anyways, your goal is to get everybody into 400 club, which is 400 BB. They are now considered qualified lakes. So say all three people, and it just looks like, it just looks crazy, but you got all three people good, your boxes are filled. Okay, I see that. Okay, but at bare minimum, okay, we still have a fourth step, which is new, okay, it's new at, since they changed it at conference. They made it easier to promote, but they added an extra step. It will tell you for the rank 
your group volume minimum. You have to hit the minimum volume. And for Ruby, that's 2,000 GB. So if you have 250 and Sarah's at 450 and Katie hits 400 and Sydney hits, <clears throat> let's say 500, okay? So that's your group volume is yours plus anybody on your team. So Sarah, Katie, Sydney. Now, if Sydney had somebody under here, like she had her own teammate, even though they aren't on the chart, they count towards her group volume, okay? Um, it gets added up, so we add everybody up. I got mine. And it has to hit a minimum of 2,000. I got mine. No, I, I mean, I wrote your name, but. Can I draw something? Yeah, can you give me just a minute, and I'll let you draw? Can I have a marker? Go get me a, a one paper towel so we can erase it, okay? One piece of paper towel. So we add all those up, and if it hits 2,000, you're good. If not, then you still need some volume, and it can go in any box. As long as everybody else has checked off their minimum, it can go anywhere. It can go directly under you. You don't want to. You should be looking at your next chart, which is Emerald. We always need to look at the chart we're working on, the one next to, um, next to that, so we can kind of do better with placing, which you'll get, a, you'll get the hang of later. I don't expect you to understand it right now. But that's what going Ruby means. So you guys, we get commission qualified, we sign distributors, we sign customers. And then we help our distributors that we sign do the same thing. You guys, this is literally called our steps to success. Okay, our steps to success are right here. I print a new one off every month and I try to complete it each and every month. Step one is get, um, it says join the party, but after that it's get commission qualified. I'm running an auto shipment, perfect, I'm commission qualified. Step two, sign four loyal customers. Every month I try to sign a minimum of four customers. I'll write their name and the date here. Step three, sign three distributors. This is the old Ruby chart, okay? But sign three distributors. So I try to sign three distributors each month. This is bare minimum what I aim to accomplish. Once you get into the hang of it, like you try to challenge yourself to see how many times you can fully complete your steps to success um, in a month. The most I've done it, I think, is three. Um, I've signed like a crap ton of distributors, but I, it wasn't like the equal number of loyal customers to, com to complete a full another set of success. Um, so like, that's just, that's just our goal. And then like when I sign a distributor, they go on my chart. When I sign a customer, I get them placed on my chart. Good job, baby. So our steps to success and our chart are our roadmap to making the money that we need to make. This is your goal. You don't just sign customers and sign distributors and you don't look at anything and you just like hope for the best. That is like, no. Okay. Good job. So another thing that you don't know, maybe you do, but when you sign a distributor yourself, so if you get fast start qualified, which means you get your first two customers, um, and you hit 150 at some point, you are considered fast started. But if you do it in your first 30 days, you have to hit 150 and you have to get at least two loyal customers. You do that in your first 30 days, your enroller is gonna get a $100 bonus. So when you're completing these steps to success and you're trying to get to Ruby as fast as you can, find three people to join your team, and you're gonna help them with. You know, you're gonna earn your shopping spree, which is gonna help you be commission qualified for like the next three months, as long as everything's Gucci. And then you're gonna sign three distributors this month and you're gonna fill out your boxes. And now those distributors have 30 days to pretty much earn their shopping spree for you to get a hundred dollar bonus off of each person. So you sign three distributors, um, you join the business, right? You earned your shopping spree, so you got a hundred dollar shopping spree, and then you oh, sign I'm three distributors. Scared. I know. Distributor one, you get a hundred dollars. Distributor two, you get a hundred dollars. Distributor three, you get a hundred dollars. So that's three hundred dollars in bonuses. Those are paid out weekly. Okay, it's like a one-time bonus from that person if they do it in their first thirty days. They're gonna earn their shopping spree. You're gonna get a hundred dollar bonus. So you've already made three hundred dollar three hundred dollars in bonuses plus a hundred dollar shopping spree. And then we also earn commissions off of our sales and our team's sales. Now the percentages change. We have a compensation plan. You can look it up if you understand it. If not, it's okay. Just know that you earn a percentage also. So I talked about moving customers. When you sign somebody and you move them oh, under somebody on your team, you're not losing money. You still earn a percentage. You get a 5% enroller bonus. And depending on what level they are on your chart, um, like this is level one, this is level two, this is level three, like how far down they are on your chart, the percentages change. But so... Even if you don't go Ruby your first month, but you've signed, um, you get your shopping spree, 
and you've signed your three distributors and they're fast started, you know, in your first month, you're still going to get like $300 in bonuses plus a percentage off of the commissions because you were commission qualified from your sales and your entire team sales. So it's okay to like not hit it right away. Um, but the higher you promote, the farther you unlock in a compensation plan. So say on this Ruby chart, you have a teammate who has like 10 levels of people. If you're not even Ruby yet, you're not even going to be getting paid off of those bottom people because you, uh, you have to hit a certain rank. I think Emerald unlocks all levels, which is the rank right after Ruby. You guys, I double promoted yeah. to Ruby. Executive is just two people. Yeah, Ruby is three. So why not just go straight? straight for Ruby. Okay. That is what Ruby is. We, we make sure we're commission qualified so we can get paid. Um, and there are a couple ways to do it. We bring new teammates in, which is part of our step success. We can earn hundred dollar bonuses and percentage of the commissions off of their sales. We're not taking anything away from them. It's just part of the compensation plan. It's incredible. And then we're signing customers ourselves to keep ourselves commission qualified and to help our team promote faster and, and to bump our volume up. Okay. That's how we make money. That's all we do. I sign customers and I sign distributors. And then I teach the distributors how to complete their steps success and promote. That's all we do, like plain and simple. And like I said, as you get higher, there are more charts. Don't let these um, intimidate you. Okay. It's okay. Here. Here. Ready? So. The, the higher ranks can look intimidating, but as you, it's like if you're a first grader and you're looking at a sixth grader, you're like super intimidated and like everything that you're learning, you can't even grasp or like, you're just like, there's no way like when I'm in sixth grade, I can learn that. No, you take each level as it comes and you learn along the way. And by the time it comes time for you to promote Diamond, you know what's going on or maybe you don't, but you still have your upline or your leader or your team to help you through it. Seriously, I can't stress this enough reach out and ask for help. I literally have so many people coming into this business all the time and I'm helping other people's teams. I'm helping people on our teams, new teammates who I didn't even sign, but they're part of this team, but they need help with training. I am spread thin. So it's easier for you to come to me or you to go to your enroller than it is for me to try to check in with you every day. Um, I do the best, but I do have a life. You see, I'm trying to like do a training and totally leave me alone. And she's in here writing all over my Ruby chart. Okay. I just, I just go with it. I try, I struggle. Anyways, reach out, ask for help. We're going to go Ruby. That is your first step. That is your roadmap. That is your guideline. That is how you will catch the vision. When I went Ruby, I made a $500 bonus. I earned $500 in fast starts and a $500 commissions check. My first three months in and all I did was what I was told to do. So to get these enrollments, to get the customers, to get the distributors, there is a process. That's the part that people struggle with, with trying to just incorporate it into their everyday life. So that's what we're going to go over. Good job, honey. You can do, um, erase this side and you can draw on the other side too. So now we're going to go on to like our daily minimums list. Um, this is how you're going to complete these roadmaps and you're, you're going to move forward and you're going to get those enrollments. I need a four. <laughs> Good job. I don't care what your schedule looks like, what you have going on in your life. I'm very empathetic. I will say I do care, but I want you to know that there is somebody who is busier than you, somebody who is going through more than you are. Okay, good job. I can't stop touching my hair, you guys. I hate that it's short. Okay, we're growing it out. Okay, so who are still getting their daily minimums. I need to When you join this business, you wanted to make some extra money most of the time because we desperately needed it. This is a job. If you don't show up to work, you're not going to get paid. And I know that because you just joined, you are not making money from it right now. So it's hard to give it priority over your other stuff because right now your current job, if you have one, is paying your bills right now. But this business could triple your paycheck, replace your full-time income, bring you home if you want, pay off your debt faster, build a savings, take your family on vacation. It is why you joined because you just need more. So it has to be a priority in your life. And I'm going to teach you how to complete your daily minimums list and work it around your schedule. So the first thing we're going to talk about is posting and like your brand. You are not, it works. Okay. Don't have an identity crisis here. You are not, it works. Step number one for our daily minimum list is posting. Okay. Write that down. So you are not, it works. You are you. I am me. She is her. Okay. 
show people that show people who you are. When you go to my social media, when you go to my Instagram specifically, Mrs. Hoftimus dot or Mrs. Hoftimus prime is my it works handle or my Instagram handle. You guys, I can't talk. See, I'm not perfect. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. You, I, and all I want you to do is I want you to look at my profile picture, look at my bio. And then I want you to scroll through my stories or scroll through my posts and just see what you can. I want you to write 10 things that you feel like you know about me. You can actually see my face. Okay. You can see that I'm a mom because I post about my kids. You can see the videos of my dogs or my kids being crazy. Like I have animals. Um, I talk about my health and my thyroid cancer journey. I, um, do yoga or work out and run. So I'm, you know, I, I try to work out and do those things, um, that I have tattoos, that I'm a military spouse and my husband's in the Marine Corps. So I'll share things about that and what's going on. So a brand and I have a video on branding. Okay. My YouTube channel has an essential training album that has like everything in there. You guys need to go to my YouTube in your spare time. Um, but this is part of my brand. It's, it's just, who are you? What do you like to do in your free time? I watch live PD every Friday and Saturday night. Everybody knows it because I share it. Um, they know things about me. So like, I am not just an, it works walking billboard. I am me and I incorporate this business and the products into my life. However, I deem that it fits. Okay. Um, with posting my daily minimum, which good job, <coughs> which might be different than yours and that's okay. It's yours. Hold on, let me like. But I want you to try to do what I'm telling you that I do. Okay. I do one post a day. Sometimes we don't know what to post. That's okay. It can be a selfie. It can be, you know, don't post like 10 selfies back to back. And that's just, just like, you're like, okay, I like, I see your face. And it's like in every picture, you know, share what you're doing for the day. Share the things that you love, things that you are about. Um, and this is usually like my picture that is edited and like not perfect, but it just looks pretty. Okay. It catches people's eyes. The point of me posting is to give exposure. The person who talks to the most people wins. So I'm all about getting as much exposure and connections out there as Mama. possible. Mommy, I made hair. Good job. And by doing that, I'm posting, so I'm advertising, but what but I'm not being a spammy sales bot. I'm like in the con I want people to stop and look at my pictures so that it makes them want to read what I have to say. So people will scroll, you know, how many of you actually read people's like captions, unless you see a picture that kind of captures your eye and then you want to read what they have to say. That is kind of like, thank you, baby. That is kind of my goal when it comes to posting and editing and making sure my pictures are, you know, taking outside with natural lighting. There's, I have a photography, like taking photos, training you guys and editing. So I have, there's all these tools that are available to you and talk very fast and I apologize. Um, so show people who you are, what you're about one post a day. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be edited right now. Like don't not work because you're like, it's just not perfect. I don't know how to do that yet. So like, I don't even want to start. No, you're going to fail your way to the top. My pictures sucked when I first started. It's so funny. I tell, like I've been taking screenshots, um, cause I've been coming upon like my anniversary just happened. So I'm seeing all the pictures I used to do you guys. Four years ago, uh, yesterday, I literally wrote representing at a shindig tonight, hashtag it works adventure. This was me. It wasn't healthy. My hair was thin and falling out. Um, and I wasn't a pro. This is what all my pictures look like, but I was giving like information exposure. We didn't have lives. We didn't have stories. We didn't have polls. We didn't have like highlights. We didn't have any of that. It was just posting. I was posting like 12 times a day. So if I can fit in 12 times a day, you can fit in one post a day in your caption. You can talk about, it could be a picture of you holding a coffee cup, not necessarily like skinny coffee, but talking about skinny coffee in the, in the comments. And there are many things that you can talk about. I do have a posting 101 video you can watch. Okay. If you don't know what to say, ask somebody, be like, Hey, Caitlin, I want to talk about the business today because talking about the products is going to get you your customers. Talking about the business is going to get you your distributors talking about why you joined, um, you know, what you would, what you're going to do with your first $500 paycheck, 
you know, what your dreams are, what you love about it, being able to multitask your business um, and working a normal life, okay? Um, so that's what posting does. It gives people the chance to watch in the background. It gives, it gives you a chance to build credibility. Um, people can scroll through my feed and see that I've been here for four years. I've been talking about this business. This is the DS. No, this isn't this is the DS. Okay, this is not, you have to get the other thing. That's the DS. This is the switch. Go get the switch one. Uh, it's the bigger one. So people have seen that I've talked about this every day for like four years. Okay. I have some credibility built now. So like people need time to watch and like you have to give them something to watch. That's what the posting is. Now posting, yeah, posting is also going to go along with like your stories on, I do Instagram mainly, but I went diamond, which is the leadership ring, like all from Facebook. Um, with your stories, you guys, we actually just started a chat for um, stories. So I know like people don't know how to make stories. Okay. Like I know that y'all don't know how to do that. Um, you know, you can search on Pinterest. You can, you know, look for things or screenshot from other people, but to help you guys, I just created a chat that the leaders and myself are going to be sharing any stories we come across. You guys can grab and use yourselves. If you ever see something that has a poll on it, if you want it to be clickable, you, you have to add your own poll once you get it into your store, but just add it over top of what we already have, okay? Um, and I like to play video all day. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, I'm trying to, guys, hold on, I'm trying to get her her thing. Um, catch up on any notes that you need to write down. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. So our stories, I do one post. To, I'm serious. Stop. I do one post today um, on my feed. Okay, this is going to help my algorithm. Instagram sees that I'm active. It wants to show people my content. My stories document my day. Whether I'm going to go get Sydney, it could be just a quick boomerang of me drinking coffee, or I make my coffee every morning, so why not like record it? I can do like a hyperlapse, which is an app um, that like speeds up your videos. So I'll make my coffee because I'm making it anyways, because I do drink it every day, and then I'll post it in my stories. I show people that I'm using our products every day. I show people that I have kids, that I have a busy schedule, that I cook dinner, that um, I have all these other things going on. Um, and they just see that I'm a normal person and that I incorporate this business. Anytime I sign somebody, I'll share it. Anytime I want to shout somebody out, I'll share it. Um, stories, like literally just, just document your day. Um, I aim for at least one product or one business, like story, like thread. Okay. Um, it could be short, sweet, and simple as like, I just made a training video for my team. That could be it for the day. If I have a really busy day and that's all I can get out, then that's all I can get out. Um, but utilize this chat, you guys, that's going to have these stories in it because it's going to help you like learn how to create your own or just give you inspiration ideas or literally just take it and use it. Okay. Um, time saving tips for posting once a day, the night before you guys can pre plan your post, or maybe you're busy all week. I can have you on Sunday, take an hour, Sit down and prep like the next five or six posts. You're going to go on Instagram and you're going to click the add button as if you're going to add a picture. Okay. Down here at the bottom in the middle, click add. You're going to add a picture, right? It's going to pull up your library. You pick a picture. Okay. Here's a picture of me and my best friend drinking on the beach. Okay. That's what I want to do. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit next again and I can write something up. Okay, a bunch of words, right? And I'm going to click OK. So now I have options to either share it or uh, like post it to Facebook and just like post it. Well, I'm going to hit the back button twice. One, one time, two times. It's going to ask me if I want to save it as a draft. Hit save draft. Now it's saved as a draft. So now when I go to add a picture, I can do another one. So now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick a picture of Sydney um, eating a milkshake at the tin cow. Okay. So 
<laughs> this is me prep and post for the week. Okay, I'm just typing a bunch of words. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so words, I hit okay, I hit the back button twice, ask me if I wanna save a draft, save draft, boom, saving draft. Now I have two posts up here in the drafts, okay? So say I know the next two days are crazy, I've got like 30 minutes where I can, you know, prep my post, I can get some stories ready, I need you to, to go while you're playing that. Go, go um, on the couch or turn the volume down, one of the two. So say I'm at work and it's super busy and I don't know how much I'm going to get to be on my phone today, but I like take a bathroom break because I got to pee and it's middle of the day and like I want to get my post up. Well, I wrote like something super long and heartfelt. It was really good. It's a really quality post. I'm giving content for my followers. So I just open Instagram while I'm peeing. I pick which picture I want to do. Okay, so maybe it's Sydney. I hit next. It's already got what I typed ready to go and then I just hit share. It's literally a three click process. Instagram, add picture, draft, click. Okay, so it's like five clicks, but it's like boom, 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 up. So your post is up and you didn't spend any time on it. You can do that on a pee break. You can do that at a family event. You just open your phone for two seconds. I know you guys have the two seconds to do that. It's all about batch working and like planning when we're busy. Okay. So if you want to make extra money, you have to make this business a priority. Give yourself that one post a day minimum with the stories. We have this chat and this thread already ready to go. So when you're ready to throw a story up, like you document your day like normal and then, um, grab a story from the chat. If you haven't made one or you don't have one that you found yourself, save it and then post it real quick while you're in the bathroom and add a poll to it. Adding a poll is super nice or questions or something that like a slider indicator, something that people can interact with on your stories helps boost your algorithm and start showing your profile and your post to more people. Um, most of the time, the people who vote on my polls, I'll get like 8,000 views in my stories, but I have like five voters and three of them are teammates. One is myself, but then you'll have a new person you've never talked to before who votes. I don't assign meaning to anything. I don't assign meaning to how many people vote how many people see my messages, how many people like or comment. I don't look at numbers. I don't give it any meaning. I just know that part of what I'm supposed to do every day is expose people um, to what I have to offer. And I know at the end of the day, I did that. So that's okay. Like, I don't, I don't worry about the numbers. Um, so try to document your day and post at least one product or one business story thread in your stories. That's a minimum for posting. So next we're gonna talk about growing our market, growing our network. So like I said, the person who talks to the most people wins. When I started, I maybe had like 500 followers. I have over 8,000 now. That didn't happen overnight and it didn't happen because people loved what I was saying. They added me back after I requested them. I add quality followers, okay? We're gonna talk about that, but I do have an adding video. As a mom and a military spouse, I am careful with who I allow on my social media. If I don't feel comfortable with somebody, I delete them, okay? Or I block them. I don't allow them to see my stuff. Most of you, if you're watching this video, your account should be on private. Your followers are probably lower. Stay private. You can, per Instagram's rules, follow 200 people a day, but no more than that, or they'll start flagging your account. And it's very, I can add 100 people in two minutes. So 100 people two times a day, that's two bathroom breaks, okay? So you literally, there's a, there's a video, you guys, it, it takes two seconds. You can search hashtags, you can search you know, places in your area, you can go to your sister's most recent picture, find a friend out there who's public, and go follow their friends. And I don't go to their friends list, I click on people's most recent picture. If they look like a quality person, they look normal, so for me, um, I wanted to have more of a local team. And what do you know? One of the girls who just joined my team is somebody who goes to the college I just started adding from. So I searched the college as like a hashtag where I'm at. I click on their most recent picture, which was two hours ago. Or if I do the one that was two days ago, right now it has, um, 102 likes. I will click on the likes and I will see that it's got people. So there are people I already follow and some people that I don't, but what I can do is I can look one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You guys, so right now I'm counting as I'm clicking. If they're a female and it looks like a quality picture, I will add you. This is how the majority of the people who sign up with me as distributors or customers join us. It's from a random ad on Instagram or Facebook. Maybe we did know each other, but the bigger market at the end of the day is Instagram. And this is how we connect with people. I have a chance to either connect with people in my area, or if you feel like it's saturated, search a different area, search a different college. Like I try to see like how far deep into the, the hole I can get. So what I'll do is I'll follow a bunch of people here and then I'll be like, okay, I'm going to click on this girl. It says she's from Tampa. So she's one of the girls who was public already. Um, so I can see her stuff. I'm going to click on her most recent picture, which was four days ago. And she has 110 likes. I'm going to click on the likes. Now I'm going to go through the friends that just interacted with her and try to find the person. Okay. This person just so happens to go to UWF, but, um, pretend that that person is like her cousin from California. And now I go to her page and most of her followers are probably from California which is really cool. So this is how we expand and grow. Now, if I come across somebody who I want to add from later, like this girl right here looks like she's got some quality pictures. She's probably got some amazing people following her page, but I've maxed out for the day or I've done my 100. I will save this person's picture. Okay. It will go to my collections. I will go through and add these people later. I'm at my minimum, like, or my maximum for the day. So you go to your profile, you click this button, you go to saved, and the people are saved here in my all posts. So next time when I'm having a bathroom break and I need to go add somebody, I will click on that picture and it brings me right to this. She's already public because that's how I found her. And I will add her friends. I just have a constant circle of quality people that I think I could relate to. It doesn't have to be local right now. I just like would really like to hang out with people and work instead of just be by myself, especially now that I have free time, the kids are in school. So I just try to expose myself to as many people as possible, which will allow connections because my original 500 followers were not going to make me successful and not everybody was going to join or buy and that's okay. But there are people out there who are ready and willing to buy. There are people who are signing up every day. It's a matter of who's going to find them first, who's going to make an impression first, who's going to make a connection first with these potentials. And like, if you're taking today and you're not adding today, know that I might've just added somebody who you would have added, like obviously not knowing, but because I chose to work my business today, I added them first. And then maybe you got to them later, but her and I have already started having a conversation. We've already connected and she joins me instead of you. And it's because you took that one day off from not adding. I'm not saying you can't be successful. I'm just saying the person who talks to the most people wins. Um, and if all you want is $500, that's great. But I want like $50,000. So like I'm trying to do the most with my time as much as possible always. Um, there are days where I don't do anything and that's also completely normal and human and it's okay as long as you don't beat yourself up and you get your stuff done, you get your, your minimums done. Okay. Each day is going to look different for you, but I have a video on adding. This is why it's super important. This is something you need to add to your uh, list is just kind of growing your following. You know, I could add 200 people a day, but maybe only 10 people add me back. I don't assign meaning to numbers people will add you back. Okay. And then, um, so to unfollow, because you don't want your followers ratio to get crazy. You don't want to have 200 people following you, but you're following 5,000 people. No wonder people aren't following you back. You look like a creeper. You're following 5,000 people, but only two people are, or 200 people are following you back. Like why aren't more people following you? It's probably because you're spammy or you don't have anything to really post about that interests anybody. So we used to use an app to unfollow and right now it's giving people issues and like kind of flagging their Instagram. So we don't want you guys to get in trouble um, with third party apps. So what you can do is an in Instagram. Okay. <clears throat> I will go through my DMS and anybody who like left my message on red. Um, so I will like 
send people a message to see if they're interested. If they're not, like they can leave me on red, that's totally okay. Um, and then I'll ask them if they'll do a host a post for me, like worst case scenario, hey, put a, put a post up for me. If they don't respond to that either, I unfollow them. So there are people you can unfollow, people who you don't, you know, connect with, clash with. Sometimes I send people um, cold, cold messages and then I immediately unfollow them. Unless I think they're going to be incredible, I'll keep following them so I can interact with them more. But they're still following you. They don't know that you unfollowed them. But, and you've already messaged them. So, and I message from my followers list. So I know I'm following them. They're following me. And I sent them a message. I unfollow them. It brings my number down. And if they're interested, they will message me back. They're in my DMs. Um, they're still seeing my stuff. It's okay. So like I'm trying to bump my numbers down. I do leave people who I like to see their pages, people I want to connect with more. So when I'm going through my process of sending messages and going through my DMs, I'm like seeing who I can message and unfollow, message and unfollow, message and unfollow, or just like who never messaged me back. Um, or who literally said, no, they're not interested in even putting a post up for me. Like you don't have to buy my products or join my team, but will you put a post up for me so I can help other people? They say no to that. That's okay. Don't take it personal. Don't assign meaning to it. People can say no. People can reject you. Like it just, it doesn't mean anything. Okay. They're allowed to say no. They're allowed to leave you on red, but just, I ain't got time for it. So I unfollow you so I can leave space and room for more people to come in who this business is meant to be for. Um, so that's just kind of my goal. I don't have a, so your unfollowing limit is also 200 a day, but I don't keep track of that because I don't think I'm doing 200 a day. I know I'm requesting 200 new people a day, but I'm unfollowing as I go. Um, so you're going to have, your minimum should be 200 people a day on Instagram. It, it really should because it takes two minutes to do 100 people and you can do that twice a day. So the next thing we're going to talk about is messaging. So we've talked about posting growing our market and unfollowing. <clears throat> now we're going to talk about messaging. So this is a piece of the puzzle, you guys. Messaging is planting a seed. There are different messages to send out. Um, with messaging, we are offering the products of the business. People can say no. People can leave you on red. Like, it's okay. We're just asking people if they'd be interested. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to pause this in a minute to get my son from the bus. But, hey, nobody's barking either. Don't be barking. They might bark. Um, so you can message people who like and comment on your posts, right? Or they vote on your polls, okay? So this is why I love to put posts up. This is why I love to put polls up. It gives people a chance to kind of take that first step. They put their foot in the door. I feel great about messaging them because they've already shown an interest. Message those people. They will not message you first for the most part. Message them. Have a conversation. Um, there's also like... If you send out a cold message, which is just like a cold connection, like they've not shown an interest yet, and you're just simply asking them if they'd be interested. They can say yes or no. They can leave you on read. It's okay, okay? Um, <laughs> no, Bella, let me pause this real quick. Okay, people are allowed to leave you on red. Um, if they don't respond to my initial message, Maybe a couple days later when I'm going through my DMs, I'll be like, hey girl, quick question. And no, I'm not trying to sell you anything, LOL. And then they respond to that surprisingly most of the time. Um, I ask them if they'll do a host to post. And worst case scenario, they say no, and I just unfollow them. Um, but best case scenario, they say, yeah, sure. Okay, so they didn't buy for you or join your team, but they're willing to help you out. They throw up a post that you gave them in their stories and you sign five of their friends. So I turned a no or a no interest right now into like five potentials, five yeses, simply because I reached back out and asked for help. Now, if they don't respond to that either, I definitely, I will follow their friends. It's like, if you're not going to post to your friends, I'm going to just add them directly and then they're going to see my posts anyways. Um, because I'm just trying to help people. Our products are changing people's lives and I don't know anybody who doesn't want an extra income or doesn't want extra money. You never know what somebody's struggling with. So I don't prejudge. So I'm literally just trying to get the word out there. And then I unfollow them. So like I always have an action, but messaging, I am asking, asking. I'm just asking and it's okay. Okay. I don't feel like I'm bugging people because like, it's not like they said no and I'm like begging them. I don't beg people. You either want to make money or you don't, or you want my products or you don't. Either way is okay. That's fine. 
my job is to offer and to help people get connected who want to be a part of this. <clears throat> um, right now I'm actually working on a conversation flow chart with a key and it's almost done. So this is going to help you like navigate your conversations and what to say and when, um, when you're getting started, you guys screenshot your, what people are saying. And I will tell you what to say, or your enroller will tell you what to say. I've had four years of experience of learning how to keep it simple and what to say and explaining it in a way that people understand without word vomiting on them. Because I have learned from my mistake of word vomiting. And as a leader, I'm trying to just teach you how to avoid that. Um, I do want you to start taking steps and being like, hey, this is how the girl responded. Is this how I should like respond back? What do you think? And I will like tell you yes or no, it's great. Or we will tweak it a little bit because my way isn't the only way. <clears throat> but my way works, okay? So I'm going to help you navigate and find a way and responses that like, you know, fit with you. So um, a time saver with messaging is going to be text replacement in Instagram messages. So, you know, the message that I send out to people, I have like a handful of a variety of messages. So Instagram will get mad if you do too many in one sitting. So I try to break it up. You guys, my daily minimum is 25 messages, 25 new messages four times a day. That doesn't include follow-ups, okay? I try to follow up with people who I had a conversation with yesterday. So 25 messages four times a day, it makes it super easy because what I'll do is um, I will do like cold goals. So I typed cold goals and it's asking me, it's giving me a suggestion. I will hit the space bar and it inserts that whole paragraph. So this is what text replacement is. Um, the iPhone has it. Android, I know there are some apps, but we can also talk about using the Instagram one. You're going to go into your settings, into your phone, okay? And I've probably given you a message. If I haven't given you a message yet, like message me and I'll give you a message. Um, you're going to go to keyboard and it says text replacement right here at the top. I like that second button. These are all the text replacements I have saved. Okay, I did not start with that many. Over time, I create new messages and new ways to say things. If I don't have it memorized, I know like where to find it and be like, okay, what was my like keyword again? Oh, okay, budget box. So I explain our boxes the same way. I explain the business the same way to people, you guys. So why waste time trying to like manually explain things to people when none of us have that time to do that? And we want to take the thinking out of it. And we all only have like two seconds at a time sometimes. So I will sit there and I will just type a couple letters that sends a message, a couple letters, sends a message. And I go through my list and I'm good. And then as I'm responding to people, like most of the time they say the same thing and I know what to say next. I lead the conversation and text replacement has saved everything. As you start screenshotting and sending to your enroller, pay attention to how they're responding because the next person who asks that same question, you already know how to respond. And if you're paying attention, you, you've already seen how to, how to answer double check to be sure. But most of the time it's going to be the same thing. Okay. Um, if you don't have text replacement, you can't find an app. Um, Instagram is like amazing. Um, they have offered, so if I'm at this girl's page, okay, and I want to message her, I've already talked to her, um, but, oh, she's somebody I need to follow up with, okay, um, you can hit this, like, button right here, and see this little chat looking thing, you can save, like, quick replies, it, it's like a text replacement, so if I wanted to add a new one, it says the short, no, 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 Bella. Come here. Come here. Hold on. Okay, so it's going to say shortcut, which is like the wording you want to use. And then, so if I want to, like somebody's asking what the wraps do, I will do greens or what the greens do. And then I add a D to it. So I wouldn't normally type greens D. You want to make sure that you're, the shortcut you're using isn't a word that's like hi. Because you'll probably say, hey girl, like, you don't want it to be anything you would use on a normal basis because then you'll hit the space bar and it'll insert this paragraph and you're just trying to have a normal conversation. Um, so greens description, and then I'll put the greens description message here. So I already have it saved. Um, so now like you hit save 
And so now I have my initial cold message. Maybe somebody's going to ask me about the greens. I've already got it saved. So that is an option. Um, you can edit or delete, but like the cold message you want to send 25 times, four times a day, it's right here. And I just click it and then it inserts in there and I just hit send. So it takes the thinking out of it for me, um, saves it in a place and it takes, it just, makes it faster for me and I can get more workout work smarter, not harder. You want to work as hard as you can, but you want to make sure you're being as smart about it and getting um, as many out as possible. So set a, a minimum for that. You guys um, don't, like I said, don't assign a meeting to anything. You could send out a hundred new messages and maybe nobody responds. That's okay. The next day is a new day. You might have 50 people respond the next day. It is Russian roulette with who you're messaging and who you're adding. Okay. That, that is the thing that we just can't control. Um, so I'm just trying to reach out to as many people as possible. And there's always an action to take when you follow the flow chart. Um, to, I took notes because I wanted, I didn't want to leave anything out. Um, also with like the text replacement, those quick replies, when, I, when I'm, you know, when I do do a poll, I send pretty much the same thing to anybody who votes. I don't give no as an option. Like who wants to try our skinny coffee um, with my discount? Yes or more info are my options. Regardless, I'm still messaging them. And then I have a base message that I send and it just says like insert product where I do a text replacement and then I just delete insert product. I write skinny coffee and I hit send. Or maybe the next day I do one about greens. I insert that same message, delete, insert product here, and insert greens and send. So like I have messages that are saved that are interchangeable for everything, just messages to reach out to. Um, the next thing that we're going to talk about is following up an organization. So get yourself a calendar. I have a create a happy day, create 365 planner. Um, you can find them at Walmart. You can find them at uh, la, 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 la. Hobby Lobby, Michael's, that sort of thing. So it has the weeks, like week by week planned out. Um, anybody who's in, there's a notes section on the week. And anybody who I've talked to each day that is interested goes down in my notes section. Like if they have said at least a little bit of interest about any of our products, I write their name down. Okay. They haven't given me a date. They're not ready to sign up yet, but they are interested. Once interested, always interested. So you write them down. Don't try to remember their name. Don't try to keep it in your brain, like save up some brain space. Okay. And just write their name down. Cause I promise people are going to slip through the cracks, especially if you're trying to talk to a hundred new people a day. Um, so it doesn't have to be anything fancy though. Just get a calendar, something you write people down. Um, you're going to write everybody down. If they do give you a date to sign up, you finally have a conversation where you can get to a date or a date to check back in with them. Write them down on that date. Okay. It takes an average of seven to 12 follow-ups before somebody finally signs up. You guys, people have lives because they're not working from social media like we are. They don't check their social media every day. Sometimes they open a message and forget to respond. Sometimes their kid opens a message and they never like knew about the notification. Um, some people go to reply and thought they sent and they did not or there's just emergencies that happen. Like you cannot count on closing the same day that you plant the seed. Messaging is just planting the seed. Your posting is watering it. Your following up is watering it. Like it's the sunshine, it's the water. It takes time. Um, so I follow up with people and there are different follow-ups we do and can say, to get the conversation going again. We don't want to be bugging people. Um, so there are certain things that we say in a certain way. So just ask for help. You guys, like I said, the conversation um, flow chart is going to help so, so much. Um, but I just know that once they're interested, they're always interested. My job isn't to make people sign up right now. My job is to sign them up when they're ready. They're not going to be ready when I want them to be. They're going to be ready when they are. Um, and I'm there to just kind of be that daily reminder, not daily reminder, but just that reminder, you know, that I'm here, that, you know, they're interested, kind of work through objections is really how you seal the deal. People have objections, things that are holding them back, and it's up to us to help them work through that and just educate them and just uh, make a connection with them. 
So this is part of the following up process. The fortune is in the follow up. You will hear that. Um, in this moment, so my like daily goal with like follow ups is just writing anybody new down. Your goal should be to get as many new people down in your calendar every day. Um, and because people don't sign up the first time we talk to them, people will sign up an average within the next three months. So I've been in this business for four years. If nobody is signing up for me this month, it's probably because I wasn't planting seeds three months ago. I wasn't working my business, doing what I was supposed to be doing. You will have the occasional people who sign up within a week, who sign up within two weeks, but everybody goes by their paydays. People get paid twice a month. Um, so you need to start planting your seed before payday comes so they can work into their schedule um, or whatever. But in this moment, I want you guys to think about what attracted you to join. What did you see? What did you read? How did you feel? How many times did you see it? How many times have you talked yourself out of it? Like, what did you tell yourself? Um, how many times did you get followed up with before you finally did it? Everybody's gonna be different, but keep in mind that other people are gonna be like you and people are gonna be different than you as well. So like, be like, oh damn, you know what? Like I followed Allie for a year before I finally signed up with her and I actually unfollowed her twice. And then I signed up as a customer, fell in love with the products and decided I wanted to join the business. And she had to message me a couple of times before I like signed up and I felt okay about it. Keep in mind, other people are the same way. So you guys need to use your time-saving tips that we have with creating a calendar to keep people organized, um, pre-planning pre your post and using that stories thread chat that I was talking about. Adding people is gonna be super easy and quick um, and saving people for later. Messaging by using your text replacement and just like having responses ready, screenshotting your messages and conversations. Um, I'm gonna have to pause this for a second. You guys won't know, but I'm letting you know that if I am sidetracked, <laughs> it's because I had to pause it and I have to go get my son. I'm literally like tracking him on the app. This is me, this is him. He's pulling into the neighborhood. Um, you guys, just do the things. Create a daily minimums list for yourself. Something and figure out like if you live by a schedule because you work and your kids have school and like you like to cook dinner at a certain time, you're gonna have to schedule in when you're working your business. Break it up. Um, okay. I do have to go pause this. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry if this is like I don't remember what I was saying. Um but okay, you guys, you know, use these time saving tips I've given you. Create your own daily minimums list. Completing your daily minimums list every day is like completing a puzzle, right? Doing all the things to complete your puzzle for the day. And doing those steps every day are what is going to give you results to, to start filling out your charts, to get you on the roadmap to success, to making the money. You know, do the things that you're supposed to do. Ask for help when you need it. Literally, I don't care if you come to me every day needing help. That like, that lets me know that you're working and that you're having conversations and you want to be successful. Those are the people that I focus on. I'm not your mom. I'm not your boss. I am your equal. I am your upline. I am your leader. But if you guys can promote faster than me. You can promote above me. You can make more money than me. There is nothing that says you can't. Um, so you determine your success, not me. Okay. Like I said, nobody holds a gun to my head to want me to make money for my family or to make my life a little bit easier, pay off debt faster cut back at work like this business um is incredible so in your free time okay which i know you don't have much of but in your free time instead of watching a netflix show instead of like messing around in the car listening to music listen to a training um be in our team pages we are diamonds is like my entire team's page not everybody is in there we have over a thousand people on this team but that doesn't mean everybody's active i don't assign numbers to anything like no meetings no nothing that is like my direct downline, everybody in there, that's for you. Um, we have a wake, pray, slay page right now, which the pages can change. So depending on when you're watching this video, ask your upline which pages you need to be in. There are daily trainings, daily work meetings where we just hang out and work together, ask questions, listen to music, whatever, um, all times of the day. Um, there's literally a YouTube video for whatever it is that you're struggling with. Um, like I said, go to my YouTube channel, Caitlin Hoffman, and um, the Essential Trainings album is in there, and that has like posting 101, messaging, growing your market, how to chart, 
um, interviews with people, um, just like a getting started in your business. It's kind of like this. I don't remember what I talked about in that one. This one's kind of updated, but this is just to help you crank your, um, your heat on and to start, you know, being more self-sufficient, not like having to wonder what you need to be doing every day. So that way you can start making these quick, fast steps towards success. Um, utilize your team pages. If I'm not answering you and you need like a, a right away answer, ask in the team page, ask an upline. If you've been introduced to another upline, um, be in these team pages. This is part of your responsibility for your business. There's always something to learn. There's always something new to watch. And like, it's up to you. Like I've told you everything it is that you need to do. So you either do it or you don't, or you ask for help or you don't you determine if you're successful or not. And so I've given you everything that you need um, to go Ruby. Now, if you want to go beyond Ruby, like you want Ruby, $500 sounds nice, but you want Diamond. And Diamond is like the is leadership status. It's a uh, Diamond bonus. As you unlock a whole another section of the compensation plan that you don't have until you are Diamond. There is a special top 1% page with Jade Hooper, the Jade Hooper, um, who was announced number three at this past conference as an income earner. She is one of my best friends and she has a special page for diamonds and above. And we also do retreats and stuff. So diamond is $2,000 a month. I did that in my first five months. So I went Ruby in three, two months later, I went diamond. If that's what you want, tell me, tell me Ruby sounds nice, but I want diamond a little bit, but you need to eat them in here because we're not sharing with the whole neighborhood. I'm not going to eat No, you eat it in here so nobody else knows. Okay. He's a very giving person, but we literally like feed the neighborhood and I just don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, everybody's got their own food. Um, but tell me, hey, Caitlin, Ruby sounds nice, but I want diamond, like I'm ready. And we will come up with a game plan for diamond um, and we will talk more. I do have a going like emerald and above um, training, like a legit, like practice number, um, video aside from the Ruby one, um, that you can watch, but it just lets me know who's serious and who's ready to, you know, just go. Um, I do want to have like a separate video for that and talking about leadership and, and the things that are available to that. I don't have it made at this, at this very second, this day, I could have it done tomorrow. I don't know, but just come to me and say, Caitlin, like, I want to go diamond. Like that is my goal. Um, somebody has done it in three weeks, which is crazy. I did it in five months. Some people have been in here two years and it's because, and they haven't hit it because they're not doing everything that they need to do and they're not giving it enough time. Um, like I said, don't assign anything, um, uh, meaning to anything. And you have to stay patient and you have to stay consistent. That's it. You just have to be resilient. Um, if you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing every day, then you just, you need to give it more than 30 days. You need to give it more than 60 days. You need to give it like a good like year and you could be making crazy amounts of money. Even $10,000 would, would Brutus hush would $10,000 a month be worth it. If it took you a year to get there and you just did your minimums list every day and you started trying to complete your steps, success and filling out your roadmaps, would that be worth the work? every day and staying disciplined with it, not motivated, disciplined with it every day. If you're making $10,000 a month, would it be worth it for the next year? It would, it definitely would. We have to start thinking ahead and thinking of the future and not getting caught up in the, in the now. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I want to see your notes or whoever sent you this video, send them the notes that you took and then let me know, Hey, I want to go diamond or Hey, let's just focus on Ruby right now. Either way, I don't care. I'm going to work with you. Um, but I want to know who's serious and like, and what kind of speed I need to go with. Okay. I love you guys and have a great day.